Hi, and welcome to a Gearsoft Airsoft Tactical review of a tactic we used on our latest Airsoft field. Now, as you can see here, this is kind of an, a Google Earth overhead view. It's a really outdated picture. I can't find one of the area update right now. But let's see here. So you can see here that that is where our base is. And pretty much what it is is a bunch of, of, of dirt piles. And we dug in a bunker of sorts into it about three feet deep and we made somewhat of an escape trench. I'll be making a follow-up video to this um, showing some pictures of that. Um, but we, the enemy had this base, not us this time. Okay, and then up here would be a hill where someone would sit, um, sat up on or could look out and see almost the entire field. Now we started over here. Now we had to break our team up into fight into into two teams to fight each other because there's no real local teams we can fight so far that we know of so we have to kind of split up and mate and fight each other so we each took a five-man team and we needed to get over the base and take it over and we had three real choices we could go through go all five of us go straight through try to try to get some cover and try to take it over that way we could go through a marsh because the as you can see up in the upper right hand corner there's a river there that was actually over was flooded and got in got in here and it's the entire thing is flooded over and muddy and nasty or we could do this now we chose this one here because our plan was was to fall back to the tree line go around they would never suspect to go go through a creek creek and hide over these bushes and then run the last 100 feet over to the base and, and um, go behind it and flank. Now we took two of our of our men and we had them become our you could say diversion or covering fire. As three of us, me, Brian, and Mark, went back and we army crawled through spiders, muck, and anything else you could think of. Pretty much water, mud. Now. They were supposed to draw our cover, our fire, but something went wrong. That night there was a band concert at their school, so they couldn't stay. And they're they're a little younger than we are, and they couldn't stay at our airsoft war because of the band concert, so they had to leave. So we lost our diver, our covering fire. Now we are sitting now at this point we're about halfway through this line pretty much crossing the dip, crossing the stream when we figure out that they're gone so we were sitting ducks they were, foc they were focusing on them because we heard them firing on them and they told us they were being fired upon but once they left all their attention was put back on us again and also to make troubles even worse and one of the neighborhood kids got up on the hill where someone was supposed to be sitting and was put in was spotting people and we did we thought that they that he had seen us the entire time and had his eye on us and we were scared that we were going to have our um what do you call position taken or seen so eventually out of a lot of anger and you know that stuff we walked up a ditch into the bushes and I'll also be showing a point of view shot of that as well in the follow-up video but we sat in the bushes and waited for about five minutes now the other team had been calling me on my cell phone, and my cell phone had locked itself, and I couldn't figure out how to unlock it. And by this point, we were actually going to call a ceasefire, but I couldn't get a hold of the other team, so we were pretty much sitting in the bush waiting to get attacked. And unbeknownst to us, they had sent over a, a guard, and James, they sent him over, and he had a just a gas pistol, thank God. And we sat in the bushes, and he was no more than about two three feet away from us. We could have took him out easily, but it was going to give away our position. But soon after, well, it wouldn't have mattered because soon after he left, and the entire team came back because they had opened fire on everything else, and we they weren't there. So finally, they just came in, came in a straight line and attacked us. Now we pretty much froze up, you know, went quiet, hoped they wouldn't see us. But Zeno came around and saw my my white face, which was a bitch and he started shooting and I started shooting at him and we pretty much went into an all out firefight at this point it was now this is like five automatics against 
two automatic or three automatics. Now my automatic had jammed, and then the other two were so far back in the bush they couldn't get out. So I got out, and eventually Mark got out, and Brian held his own until finally we just called it. He just called he called a surrender because he didn't want to get shot a th thousand times. Well, all around it was a good plan, just a simple flank, flanking plan. It, well, well, you know what I mean by simple flanking plan, but. If we would, if our the band concert would have been that night, I think it would have turned out differently. Um, if you have any comments about this video, or want to suggest any tactics or anything like that that we want to, we would want to use or anything, uh, just comment and make sure to rate and subscribe our video um, on our videos and our channel. And you can also keep up to date on air, um, gearsoftairsoft.blogspot.com. That's our blog where all our videos will be and also up-to-date things on all our men and what guns we're getting and stuff like that. All right, well, thank you and happy airsofting.